Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today I'm reading for the astrological sign of Pisces from November 1st through the 15th. Now I do want to remind you all that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Again, take what you like, leave the rest. And this is for you know rising, ascending, and or moon for Pisces, okay? Um, also, I want to thank everyone who's been following me and subscribing to my channel. It's been really cool. I'm really enjoying this. It gives me a lot of encouragement. But if you haven't done that yet, please go below and hit the subscribe button. And please comment. Um, I don't know if there's a place in YouTube that you can see who subscribes. I cannot see that. I don't know where that hidden place might be. But I know that if you, you can only comment if you subscribe. So please subscribe. Please like my video. Please share my video. That would be a great thing too. Also, follow me on Facebook and or Instagram. And that's where Monday through Friday I do a like a couple of card reading. You know, it all depends on what cards want to come out. And I give my interpretation. I give my reading from those cards. So please go on Instagram and, and Facebook, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Okay, now we're going to start our reading. But again, too, I use Doreen Virtue. Angel Tarot. I use Psychic Tarot, Oracle Cards, and I use Osha Zen Tarot Cards. Okay. I have meditated over these, and I am an intuitive reader, so I will show you every card that pops up, um, but um, and you may see something in it, and but I may get a different type of reading, but that's okay because basically this is an exchange of energy. So your you know your energy is very important to me, and you know it helps me to, you know it helps me to read for you, even though we're not you're not sitting in front of me at this time. Energy is still energy, but again this is for Pisces, November first through the fifteenth. Is there any message in particular for Pisces? We'll shuffle. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, you remember that our, oh, okay. Remember that our um, Venus is still retrograde. However, on the 31st, it changed over from being in Scorpio to Libra. And that will be a good thing for everybody. Um, because Libra has that balance that, you know, it, it balances. And I don't know how your um, part was in October, but emotions were very high, you know, when when Venus was in Scorpio. So, okay, we got quite a few cards. We got actually five cards that came out. The first one, Ten of Air. Oh, lovely. It's the end of a difficult situation. Oh, things are going to be good. Things look good right now. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Well, I don't know if you're addicted to just having pain in your life, but I, things look like they're coming better. They're going to be better for you. Nine of air. So what's been happening is whatever has been happening in your past, you keep expecting it. You keep expecting that sh that other shoe to drop. You keep expecting, you know, you, you keep expecting the door to shut in front of you. You have to stop doing that because the, this is the card that is important. The end of a difficult situation, okay? So we're going to put nine of air. Stop this. Stop this. Enjoy the good times that are coming to you, okay? Enjoy not having... having yeah, I feel like, you know, like you're, you're the kind, you, I feel like you've been in a situation like you remember in the movies or in the old, old movies, somebody would walk through the door and the bucket of water would fall on their head, uh, you know, or something, you know, you'd open up a can and something would pop out and surprise you and scare you. That may have been happening to you and that may be happening in the past, but now things are going to be changing. Switch over. I'm hearing switch over. Okay, Night of Earth. I think this is what you actually are going to start being able to do, my sweet Pisces. You're basically going to be able to buckle down, get things done. 
you have your guardian angel, you have honor your commitments. And because this cruddy past is now passing you, you're actually going to be able to go forward. In fact, you know, that's kind of, that's going forward, going forward, going forward. Seven of earth. Hope you can see that right. Let's go back that way. Okay. The seeds that you have planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. That goes back into self-fulfilling prophecies, you know, sleepless nights. Let go of that because you have, you have planted your seeds. You have done that footwork. You know, what's the definition of luck is preparation to meet opportunity. You have put that together, okay? You have done that. You have done your prep work. And your last one is seven of fire. And that one is defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. I don't necessarily know, I mean... I don't necessarily know that you're going to go into battle, but you're, you are so prepared for crud to happen that you may be going into, you may not necessarily realize that it's ended. You know, the crud is ending, that, you know, wonderful things, you know, expect the better. So you may always be feeling, you may be feeling, at least for this time, a little bit on your defense. That, that's normal. As long as you realize that you have your guardian angel and that you have planted your seeds. You have done the preparation to meet opportunity. So where people might say, oh, look at how lucky you are. You're going to say, you know, you can say, oh, thank you very much. But you will know you have planted your seeds. You have made your, you have done the prep work. Opportunity is arriving looks like luck okay but you've done the you've done your work so that so know that this is really good because pisces you have been in you know i'm kind of you know you have been in a really you know you, you've had a lot of stuff happen <laughs> so that you might know my my code words <laughs> stuff you've had a lot of stuff happen and i'm hearing switch over things are switching over for you now okay this is good this is good okay we're going to go to our psychic tarot can you clarify a little bit more for our Pisces? What's happening in November 1st through the 15th? Can you clarify a little bit more? What 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 else? What do they need? What else? You want to come out? Okay. Oh, you're good. <laughs> okay, come on. What else? What else? Okay. What else? What else? What else for our lovely Pisces? For our sensitive souls, November 1st through the 15th. Okay. You, okay. First card that popped out was rejoice in celebration. Okay. Like I said, reset. Things are changing. This will be a good two weeks. You have been in... You have been so withdrawn because you have been all you because you have been you know expecting the worst, and what's actually happening is, and this is hard for you um, Pisces that you are actually coming into your own power. You are going to have the authority. You are going to have the strength, but you also you will have that. But you also have to embody that too, and that may be you know that may not be something that's easy for you. But you, it is coming to you should you, you know, do that. And I think you will. Because this is done for the moment. Pisces, because you are, you know, you are sensitive with that. But, and this is okay sometimes. It's okay sometimes. But right now, these are the cards I want you to focus on. You're, you know, rejoicing in celebration. Finally, having a good time. Have some fun in your life and your power okay because it is come you are taking back your power whatever it was that you know whatever whoever you gave that to or whatever you gave that to it is now coming back to you okay so oshi any last words for our pisces november 1st through november 15th i'm excited about this 
I'm excited about this for you, Pisces. Anything else? You are coming into your power. I feel like reset. Or switch over. Switch over. I'm sorry. Reset was somebody else's. Uh, switch over. It's kind of like a train that was going down one track and they're being switched over to another track and that's the, that's the one that's actually going to take you to your celebration and to your... Um, that's going to take you to your celebration and to your power. Okay, so first card that came out was comparison. You know, this is where don't look at your situation. You know, okay, well, maybe you need to look at it. I don't know, but don't, but I'm going to actually, I'm feeling like don't look at your situation. We have, we have two types of trees here. And, you know, is one better than the other? Is one more useful than the other? No, they both have their uses. They both have their strengths. They both have their weaknesses. You can, you can go ahead and do your, you know, you can go ahead and look at your life and look at your past. And it's always good to revisit. But as long as you don't get stuck there in Pisces, you have a tendency to get stuck there. You get stuck in your past. So... What you need to know, though, is going forward, and this is reversed, and you know I, I read these as more powerful, abundance is coming into your life. I mean, look at that. That, you know, look at him. He's enjoying everything. That, that person has no worries or no qualms. You know, doesn't care what he looks like, doesn't care what he's doing. Just, he's just accepting abundance. He's accepting what's coming into his life. So you have to not, you know, you have to not be into your past, get out of your past, accept the abundance, because, and again, this is reversed, a great event, adventure is coming to you. See, you know, as a child, she goes forth, look at the beautiful lights, look at the pathway is lit. This is all wonderful. And so I look at, from November 1st to the 15th, you're going to have a really good time. Just keep you know, let, let that, stop doing this. Stop expecting the worst, okay? Stop living in the past. Stop comparing now to yesterday, okay? It's okay to have a little bit of your emotional withdrawal, but enjoy, have some fun. Go on your adventure. Accept the abundance. Accept what's coming to you, okay? Pisces, this is good. This is good. Okay. So I want to thank you for joining me. I hope that if you, you know, I hope that something, you know, resonates with you. If not, I hope you had a little fun listening to me. Again, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. And I will see you again in a couple of weeks. And I want to thank you and have a good November. Okay. Bye-bye.